grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. visions of his head as he lay in bed. Then he wrote down the dream. I, Daniel, saw in my vision by night the four winds of heaven stirring up the great sea. 
and four great beasts came up out of the sea, different from one another. As for me, Daniel, my spirit was troubled within me, and the visions of my head terrified me. I approached one of the attendants to ask him the truth concerning all this. So he said that he would disclose to me the interpretation of the matter. As for these four great beasts, four kings shall arise out of the earth. But the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, forever, and ever. The word of God, the word of life. Thanks be to God. Psalm 149. Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord a new song. God's praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Let them praise their maker's name with dancing. Let them sing praise with tambourine and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in the people and adorns the Lord with victory. Let the faithful rejoice in triumph. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the praise of God be in their throat and a two edged sword in their hand. To wreak vengeance on the nations and punishment on the peoples. To bind their kings in chains. To inflict on them the judgment decree. This is glory for all God's faithful ones. Hallelujah. A reading from Ephesians, the first chapter. In Christ we have obtained an inheritance, having been destined according to the purpose of him who accomplishes all things according to his counsel and will, so that we, who were the first to set our hope on Christ, might live for the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you had heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and had believed in him, were marked with the seal of the promised Holy Spirit. This is the pledge of our inheritance toward redemption as God's own people, to the praise of his glory. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints, and for this reason I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart and light, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and sealed him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of God, the word of life. Thanks be to God. Rich, 
for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are full now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who are laughing now, for you will mourn and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for that is what their ancestors did to the false prophets. But I say to you that listen, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. If anyone strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also, and for anyone who takes away your coat, do not withhold even your shirt. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if anyone takes away your goods, do not ask for them again. Do to others as you would have them do to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, O Christ. And 
lets them know how much they are valued by. Today we're celebrating All Saints Sunday, that time when we give a special emphasis on those who have gone before us in faith. I'm sure each one of you have a story that you can tell about someone who is influential to you, who may have brought you to church or Sunday school when you were a child or a young adult, and how that experience transformed your life and your understanding of God's relationship with you. Today we gather as a community of faith together to celebrate All Saints Sunday. We don't often think of it in this context, but as we celebrate All Saints Sunday, Easter is in the midst of all that we say and do. The resurrection of our Lord, the life-giving force of God that gives us faith and shapes us as Christians. The story does not begin and end on this day, but continues on for all eternity. Those stories that we carry and will share with others about the people who have gone before us in faith and how Christ was central to all of that. So today, as you remember, people in your own lives who may not be physically here, where you can see them and touch them in a way that you might have been able to in the past, you can know that they live on through God's grace and mercy and love. We are on a journey together in faith in and through Grace Lutheran Church. But this isn't the whole story. In Jesus' Sermon on the Plain, he reminds us how blessed we are and how generous God is in God's promises and the life that God gives. In Jesus' Sermon on the Plain, he brings a sense of satisfaction and belonging, even to those who suffer poverty, even to those who may feel powerless or disenfranchised. We can remember the ministry that he engaged in that fed the hungry, which anticipated the wondrous deed that he performed from the cross and the empty tomb. The story that we receive today is a story that goes out beyond this place, even as it engages us personally in ministry and in true grace. Today we celebrate all the saints in heaven and on earth and give thanks to God for God's ongoing generosity of grace, mercy, life that is everlasting. Today as we celebrate all saints day together and every day of our lives, we can give thanks to God for God's generosity and the words of Jesus that continue to call us into a new reality where love, compassion, and a way of being different exists. Thanks be to God, to all the saints, and for God's generosity from the cross and open tomb.
Christ of the Jews. Do you believe in one God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen? Do you believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, life from life, true God from true God, begotten not made? Of one being in the Father, to him all things are made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and he became truly human. For our sake, he was crucified on the conscious side, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, and forward to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in and will bring over the judge of the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who has sold the food of our eyes. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, who will look for the resurrection of the dead, who will find life on the world to come. United with your saints across time and place, we pray for our shared world. Holy One, your church rests on the faithful who came before us. Give bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders the will to carry the church forward and discern your will for the future. Lord, in your mercy, we receive our prayer. Holy One, we pray for our partners in ministry here in Phoenix, in the Meadowlands Cluster, the Northern Mission District, the New Jersey Synod, Lutheran Social Ministries of New Jersey, the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, the wider Christian community, our friends from Light and Peace Mission in Haiti, and people of faith everywhere as they live out their calling to serve and welcome the stranger in your name. Lord, in your mercy, we receive our prayer. Holy One, the earth is yours and all that dwells within it. Care for places ravaged by natural disasters. Well, raging fires and halt destruction caused by flooding. Lord, in your mercy, we see our prayer. Holy One, you raise up leaders to guide your people. Kindle in them a passion to care for others, a desire to seek the common good, and the courage to love their enemies. Lord, in your mercy, we see our prayer. Holy One, you bless those who are poor, hungry, and reviled. Provide food, housing, and security to all who are vulnerable or in crisis. May those who have more than enough give generously. Lord, in your mercy, we receive our prayer. Holy One, you stand with the suffering and give strength. Comfort your people filled with fear or anger, anxiety or shame. Bring healing to all who are sick in body, mind, or spirit especially those you pray for in silence or alone. Lord, Lord, in your mercy, we see our prayer. Holy One, hold us in community with one another. Nurture a spirit of abundant hospitality and intentional inclusion among us, welcoming the gifts of adults and children. Inspire creative visions for our life together. Lord, in your mercy, we see our prayer. Holy One, we remember in thanksgiving all those who have died. Roland P. Bianchi. Roland O. Bianchi. Me, Kun Hang. Elizabeth Frenzel. Thomas Herman, Marion Janso, Elizabeth Jordan, Joan S. Cupid, Kathy Madsen, 
Lavender Gallery, Deborah Okuma, Joe Kashubi Sr., Keith Rogers, Joyce Schlatt, Lawrence Stewart, Bruce E. Turnbull, Wipe away our tears and comfort us with the promise of everlasting life in you. Lord, in your mercy, accept these prayers, gracious God, and those known only to you, through Jesus, who is the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. opportunity to give thanks for your participation in this year's stewardship program emphasis the heart of giving is clearly stewardship and it reminds us of God's generosity and our response to that generosity we select you might present the estimate of giving cards for 2023 we'll receive them at the altar and give thanks to God Gracious God, we know that all that we have is yours. We give thanks, O oh Lord God, for the blessings received and for the generosity of the people who participate in the mission and ministries here at Grace and through this congregation. We ask your blessing upon these gifts as we prepare for the new year, 2023. We give you thanks for always being the lamp unto our feet and ask for your continual guidance and direction as we seek to live out your call for us as children of God. We ask your blessing now upon the gifts already received and those that will be received next year that will enable the continuation of your mission and ministries here and from here. We give you thanks, O oh Lord God, for all the gifts received in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. 
God entrusted us with all that you have created. Now gather our gifts, nourish us with your sacrament, and send us to those who hunger and thirst for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, Almighty and merciful God, to our Savior Jesus, who is the Christ. By the witness of your saints, you show us the hope of our calling and strengthen us to run the race set before us, that we may delight in your mercy and rejoice with them in glory. And so, with all the saints, with the choirs of angels, and all the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join your unending hymn. <laughs>
comment the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace.
Any other announcements today? Okay, let us stand in and sing together, Rejoice in God's name.